nervous. Here's the squid. Oh, they're squid. They're squid. Not only did my market not have, you know, just cut up squid, but they couldn't sell them in packs of one. So tonight I am cooking two squid. This is super scary. How do you gut a freaking squid? I think you cut the head thing. Come on, I, I took dissectioning classes in high school. I think they called it biology. Oh, yay. Let's see, cut off the legs. I think that's what I'm supposed to do. Okay, I can cut off the legs. Oh, sick. Those are some guts. Those are guts right there. Um, I'm going to imagine that I just cut this part out because I don't want to eat this part. Why am I doing this? Do I even like squid this much? Who likes squid enough to do this? Uh, I'll be back. Oh. Ew. Okay, I'm back. Cutting off the legs because that's what my book told me to do. It didn't mention how to gut a squid, but it was actually quite easy. Everything basically came out on its own. I oh, don't want that. Don't want that. Don't want to eat that. I'm not good at cutting. I'm not good at cutting. I'm not good at cutting. This is now my squid bowl. Oh, my hands are so squiddy right now. My friend Dallin once wrote a short story about a very sexually aggressive squid. So. That's funny, right? I'm supposed to remove the squid from the pan as soon as it's cooked, but I have no idea how to tell if squid is cooked. Does that look cooked to you? Thank you for joining me for this squid venture. This squid adventure. Oh, there's squid.